You're on the couch. Yeah. Please. And I have the tray there uh, for your as a coaster. Super. For your. Uh, let me know if you need me to fill that up. And you like that boat water they got now? It's better. Better for the environment. Boat water. We like physical comedy in this thing. Don't say we. Don't put it we on. Do. Well, don't we put it on. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No, 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 for real, for real, for real, for real. Don't touch that? Hey, is this on you? No. Thanks. Those are your lines? Yeah. Are you going to put that on the thing? Right. Yeah, I have to put this on. Does that, come, does that have its residue before you put it on? No, there's it no residue. Easily? It comes off easily? It comes off very easily, yeah. I might leave it on, but just... You might, yeah. This is, I've been instructed, I'm sorry. By whom? The AI that does my podcast. Good job, William. I'm I'm impressed that you can see these little uh, the little monitors as you're going. Yeah, sometimes I go like this though. What you looking at? It'll help you, bitch. For a while. Yeah. yeah. If you squint, I find that when you squint, it lets you see better. But I don't <laughs> know if that's because I sometimes when they're here, my glasses are down. Yeah. I'll squint to bring them up. Yeah. So, but now I just squint to see better, and I think that's something that non-glasses people do too, right? Uh, yes. Uh, Good. closing the area through which you see things right will help to open the iris. focus them it opens well I, th I would imagine it closes does it open the iris is it a counterintuitive thing like <laughs> if you just did this welcome to another episode of take your shoes off i'm rick glassman with special guest will sasso from dudesy from dudesy hello my name is will sasso i am uh, theme from music scoot do blabbity blue turning down opacity scoop d Oh, <laughs> it is good to catch up with you. Oh, dude, it's been a while. It's been a minute, mm -hmm. as they say, mm -hmm. as the Gen Z kids say. So, Will, Will? Yep. Well, before we get into it, I came across an old video of mine from almost two years ago to the day. Mm -hmm. And in it, I want to play it for you. All right. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, is there something else I could get you? No, 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 no. That's fine. Other than those. Don't reach those. Don't do not go for those pillows. I can't. I don't know if they're on camera or off, but Rick's got some pillows. You're not supposed to. I have I'm just a, trying to get comfortable here. I have indoor and outdoor uh, ah. stuff. And you pillows? and well, you, this is fine. I'm you're fine. wearing outdoor clothes. Yes. So anything that's outdoor doesn't touch the indoor stuff. Okay. And that's why you asked me to bring my outdoor clothes, come to the door, get into my indoor clothes. I should offer. I we should, had a, a riddled situation with one of your, uh, for uh, one of your fellow tenants who was like, hey, and I'm like, it's not what it looks like. And right. Everyone was laughing, but they recognize you too. It probably makes it easier. Yeah, from behind, they recognize me. <laughs> and that's what makes it funny. Is Are you oh. allowed to make jokes like that anymore? Huh? Or can you make jokes like that? Uh, because you're like behind? Yeah, so long as you don't. I think it's about cuss words, right? That's what you're not supposed to. That's what they don't want you to do anymore? They? Yeah, they. They don't want you to be like, my ass, my asshole. Right, right. You can't do that. And especially sitcoms. You used to be able to say, are you looking up my uh -huh. red distended balloon knot? Yeah. And it's like, no. Then the audience laughs. I recently posted a clip uh, from Entourage about how easily they would make some of those jokes, and it just doesn't fly anymore. Thank goodness. Should I go with Sinatra or something a little more pop? Hey, hey, yo, drama. What are you doing here? Me? Why aren't you in class? Because I know you'd fuck me, you prick. She has a reversal exercise. Holy facts. Hey, you know, right? Hey, come here. Meet my new girl. Right back, bro. Yeah, I know. I came across this diary I made during quarantine. I recorded myself for like two months every few days. Um, and I was just high talking to the camera. Nothing that's worth posting. Um, it's not funny. It's just me talking. But at the end, I say something about you. Oh. And I thought I want this to maybe be a cold open. Okay. People are embarrassed to masturbate. Some people are more comfortable talking about it. Everybody's boundaries are different, but... Really, there's very few people that would be cool with just going into the urinal into a public bathroom and then just rubbing one out into the into the ice. Skip. You know, I know when dogs and cats take a shit, they kind of like they were cracking their knuckles. Skip. Man, it's almost 3 a.m. I'm in my living room talking to the camera. 
so people could leave comments saying, get Will Sasso on. You know what I noticed from that clip mostly? The thing that I noticed over everything else is you have a comfy pillow behind your back. Yet when I reached you have these two pillows, pillows behind your back. I have the this is part of the couch. That's this is without this behind you. It's not a couch. So that's not a pillow. These things, these decorative throw pillows, you'd find those in a store and you're no, 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 no. These are outdoor. That's the pillow. As soon as you got up, it's the pillow that's right in behind your chair. You getting me an outdoor pillow? All right, I'm not picky. Don't wear con acquiring the pillows, William. Nah, we got enough dudesy stickers. Funny stuff, Will Sasso. <laughs> right, Dad? I love them. Okay, we have a couple of advertisements for you. We're going to give you a little brief now, and then later on, we're going to do the full commercial. But I just want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows to all of our listeners here at helixsleep.com slash Tyso. Good. Ready? Yep. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Are you tired of being soft as fuck? Well, try Blue Chew free using a promo code TISO. Just pay $5 at checkout. That's bluechew.com slash TISO to receive your first month free. Hey, Dad, I'm hard already. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Listeners get 10% off the first month at betterhelp.com. That's Dad the song. B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash TISO. Good. Now, do you, does your uh, editor slash producer or whomever is cutting things together get upset with you when you're like, do this, do that, and, you know, fucking do it, and you're snapping at them? Because of the direction or because of the way, I, you're not even using the pillows. Yeah, I am. I put this one under my knee. So you're just building a fort. You don't need something for your back. By the end of the show, it's going to be <laughs> a very interesting. Look how I reach for my water before, without... I don't want to speak for John Michael, although I do talk to him about this often, but I don't think John so. Michael? John Michael is who's been, I've had, a, I work with a few people, but John Michael is kind of the guy now. Sounds like a French director. He, now I understand the yeah. whole, yes, it's very, yes. Yeah, he's just from New Jersey. He's a, Cinema Nouveau. he's a guy. Yeah. Nothing French about it's him. New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. From the back. Yep. And uh, I don't think so, but you could, here's your moment. Okay. We'll just cut to John Michael. We'll cut to a clip of you. Uh, John Michael here, uh, it's on your phone, just between like five and 25 seconds. Tell me, tell it how it is. Tell me how you feel. John Michael? Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna answer you. There. John Michael, how you feel? All right. All right. I think we could get, we could find it now. Yeah, I think we can find it. I wanted you to podcast with me a while ago. Yeah, dude. But you, you, uh, you just kind of like left the podcast game. That's right. I oh, stopped. Here. Let I get stop. one. Oh, would you like one? Yeah. Here's a sticker. It's a dudesy sticker. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you check out Will Sasso's new podcast about artificial intelligence and what it's like to be a guy's guy in 2022. Mm, I don't know if that, but yeah, dudesy. Okay. It's a, it's, it's not about AI. It's being run by an AI. It's right. A, it's about first a, of its kind, uh, proprietary technology. We were approached by a group. Myself and my good pal, Chad Culchin, who writes... Uh, Shout out Chad Culchin. We'll put his Instagram handle up here. Put, it, put his Instagram handle as Chad Culchin. And, uh, dudes he, he writes what? At, at Dudesy Pod Show. You know, books and TV and film and shit. What's one of the books that he wrote? Uh, he's written... Uh, he has a new book out called How to Win the Bachelor. And uh, then The Lie, Men, Women, and Children, which was made into a Reitman film. Or a Jason Reitman film. Oh, shit. It's okay. It's all right. And uh, what else? Uh, the, the fucking... Uh, what was that other one? It's right over there. It's on the shelf. I'm trying to read it. Um, yeah, the lie. Average American. We'll male, put up some pictures of what he did. Anyway, yeah, there, there, there they are. Thank you, Jean Michel. But uh, people who are audio only aren't going to know, so you'll have to check so, this out. But when they hear this, they start googling whatever you're talking about on the show, and I know this. You watch. Yeah, I'm a glassman head. Um, Bobber. Yeah. So we were approached by a group, and they said, "Here's this AI. It's sort of it's a first. Well, it's not sort of. It's the first of its kind." Uh, experiment and uh basically an ai is programming the show uh, they've uh, essentially it's a it's an ai that is listened to every podcast ever has they've that listened data, to, uh, take your everything up. you've ever done I'm flattered it sucks and uh it basically has you know it it, it 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 was a little bit intrusive it has the passwords to all of our socials has our search histories purchase wow. histories and is essentially building a show saying 
this is the way you should podcast. Right. And as you mentioned, yes, I took a break from podcasting. I had the 10 minute podcast for years and then I stopped doing it. And I kind of was like, I don't want to do podcasts anymore. Stopped doing that in like 2018 or something. And then, uh, yeah, stopped doing it. And now I'm back. It was kind of like, I don't know if I even want to do another one. Me and my buddy Chad were kind of looking for Chad, Chad one to do. Grand, Chad okay. at Chad Culture. At Bachelor Clues also, at Bachelor Clues. Well, just, and, I, I do that stuff. And uh, and yeah, so so now 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 we're doing this, and it's uh, we're we're two episodes deep. At which point we're recording, and uh, you probably have uh, you probably have four or five episodes out by this point. Oh, okay, yeah, it's about four or five episodes deep. The first two episodes were, you know, were were pretty good, but I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that the last three have basically changed the game of podcasting. The yeah. last three episodes. It's so. funny that you bring that up because you're saying how it's listening to my podcast. Yeah. The first of its kind is changing the game. A lot of glass and boppers out there know that I have already changed the game in podcasting. Mm -hmm. And clearly a lot of people are watching my podcast. Yeah. I'm going I'm to show you this podcast. I forgot the name now, but there's a dude. He's doing some cool things like yeah. he's brought like animation to it, like cool ways to do his ads. I'll, I'll show you. Really? Yeah, it's kind of dope. All right, that's and fine. It's not I want to see. That, it's not that much work. So, that's, yeah, it's okay. kind of dope. Right. Don't tell them about it. No. Because if we do it, I want to get all the credit. I don't want to be. Oh, right. yeah. That's that's I'm not naming the podcast. <laughs> that's good, good. We're not gonna I mean, it. I had an idea where we should bring animation yeah, to it and shit yeah, like yeah, that. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, talking that's about. That's you know what I'm saying? Because some sick. people, they don't want to give credit. <laughs> We're morphing into just one <laughs> yeah. New York City comic. Should we just switch our outfits right now? Right now. Mid pod, and nobody will know the difference. Give me a please. Please. I'm fine. You got to snap and then do it. Okay, fuck. Okay. Yeah, ready? How are we going to snap? What do you mean? I don't know. You're. Don't look at me. Don't act like you don't know how to snap. I'm like, tail. Snap? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I already can't snap. So you're saying they're biting your shit here? <laughs> and I gotta tell you something. It's all real. All of it is real. Snap so you can show me what you mean. Sure. All right, look to ca camera and yep. snap. Okay, yep. Uh, oh, wow. What happens when you snap? It's scary. It's That's what, that's what separates my COD podcast from the rest. It's the snapping. Okay. And we're back. Oh, do you have merch? Oh, I would wear your merch right now. Oh, well, you gotta snap and then do it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> look to camera and snap. Would you look to camera and snap, please? All right, I'll do whatever I can to help out. I know I am fun. I had the mustache. Watch. On. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Right. We got to take a break. Yep. Well, I think like what, that made total sense. Thanks, man. And if you like snap bits, make sure to check out Take Your Shoes Off podcast. And we're back. See, this is where this is where uh, they would benefit from having uh, the dudesy proprietary AI, mm -hmm. uh, because every every listen, every podcast and every form of media in ten years from now is going to have some sort of AI component, and uh, this one here would w they would not uh, be allowed to get away with that because dudesies listen to all podcasts, and then they would probably you know they would probably be uh, instructed to share what, what the podcast is. The it's very data centric. Yeah, it's data sensitive. Yeah, which it's, is. It compiles data as we go, making the next show better and better. But what makes it data making some what makes something better? Are you making fun of me? No, <laughs> that's what I do. When I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm not making. Oh, fun you're of becoming me. like a computer. Like you're calculating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Okay, I was just still thinking about you squinting. Um, uh, what what? How does data make things better? Yeah. Well, why does data? Why does data? Where does the line from data equals better? I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm there's asking many you to ways, explain. Yes, there's many ways for this AI, for the dudesy AI to compile data. Yeah. One of the ways is that it, Rick, and we're back. Thank now you. I understand. Yeah, sometimes that is boring. Did. Yeah, but then you go like this. Mm -hmm. uh, one way is through, how fast can you do that? Under a minute. Um, you just put it back to what it was. Mix it up, dude. We'll do it later. <laughs> okay, let's do it later. Outside. But is I'm that an a, indoor or an outdoor room? That's an indoor cube. I thought it was a little bit bigger. I thought it was a regulation outdoor. Outdoor. Well, oh, that's the outdoor. Yeah, by the well, guest. Well, there's the big one. There's the big one. Um, and, you know, it can read comments online and go, hey, do this, don't do that. And we're back. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine that you're on a farm. You're in, you're in Iowa. 
And uh, when you wake up, <laughs> you are going to be the farmhand who's uh, very happy that it's sunny outside, but you're hot. It's hot out. Oh, it's so hot. And now you're going to start undressing and you're going to dress into someone else's clothes, but you're not going to name the name of the podcast from where you No, Rick. Don't actually do. Oh, geez. Hey, speaking of you're Hi. like, take your shoes off. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. And there was a curly cue on your, on your toilet seat. That is the outdoor bathroom. Oh, that's the outdoor. Also, I recently cleaned it. So shout out to David Sullivan, who was just here. Yeah, it I must just saw have been, David Sullivan. I don't use that bathroom. Oh, you don't use that when bathroom? I'm down here. Yeah. Doing my thing, watching TV. Right, chilling. right, 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 right. Then right. you go to your I, bathroom. I have to go pee or poo. I'll sometimes pee here. Yeah. But poo always upstairs. Yeah. And usually everything upstairs. I I find it interesting that David has like, he's like strawberry blonde, very we darker got hair. You covered. Yeah, he's got, but it's interesting because he has like coarse, curly, thick black pubes. Is that really there? Coarse, I'll put, I'll put, curly, a, we'll put thick, a picture up. Black pubes. Do that again. That's good. That could be. Do fake. that again. Coarse, curly, thick, black pubes. Keep going. Coarse, curly, thick, black pubes of David Sullivan. I was God. 17 when I first <laughs> learned of it. When I just go into the potty and I urine shit. And I now push it in the giving and kidding and living and never sipping and dipping and dipping and dipping and coming in the sipping and dipping and dipping and never let it come in the pop, pop, pop. Goes the weasel. Goes the weasel, yeah, yeah. Now, what could your AI do with that? If they listen to that, Nothing. and they, and how would they know this is good, which, yeah. I mean... It is. How do they know that? It, without somebody telling people, like, without people metering how much they like. Well, you know, there's a, there's a, uh, there's an argument in... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there's an argument in, uh, in all things AI. You know, what came first, the chicken or the egg kind of thing. I don't want to interrupt, it, but remind me, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an answer. Okay. Um, about chicken eggs specifically or about AI? The egg came first. Well, and I'll explain later, but let's go. Okay. I don't want to get into Jesus stuff while I'm here. No, and it's very scientific. I know you're very, you're a very Christian guy. I know that about you. It's data driven. Okay. Christianity? Y no, the chicken and the egg. Um, uh, which did come first? Do you, want, do you want me to tell you this now or do you want to talk about what you were going to say? Well, you know. Uh, you I'm not asking you. I'm sorry. What do you guys think? Let me hear some noise if you want me to do the chicken and the egg thing first. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Maybe a little too loud for you. Now, if you want Will to tell his. Oh, oh, oh. oh look out. Okay. Guys. All right. All right. Calm down. Go. I'll go. I'll go second. Hey, you know, uh, they know what they want. Hey, I, you know, it's like uh, we would be nowhere, uh, or the, uh, the, you know, artificial intelligence would be nowhere without the, its human overlords. And uh, now, you know, who's got more smarts? Who's got more data? Um, well, a AI has more data. They. That's true. They could register so, it, but how do they? How, how do did they start? How did how did it the begin? Question. Here's the question: How does AI turn data into information? Well, that's that's a very chicken and egg argument because I would say that they're the same thing. No, no, data is uh, if we're doing taxes, right? Yes, data is what you spent, what you spent it on, all this stuff in the spreadsheet. That's the data. That's information. That that's, is the information that you get. That, that is data that you turn into information. I, um, I disagree. I think that's information. And then from there, you get the data. You would get data. Like, here's what you, here's you, what, and you got to do this data, while you do it. You turn data. Are you which Italian? Is, which is just numbers. Are you Italian? I'm a Christian Italian boy. <laughs> Same. CIB. Same. You take data, you turn it into information. With that information, you come up with hypotheses that then are proven into theory. You start with the data. Proven in theory? I, hypoth I hypothesize that when I have podcasts with another comedian, the numbers are always better because people think of this as a comedy podcast. But that's not a theory until it's proven. And you look at all the comedy guests yeah. versus all the non-comedy guests. I think an AI would help you by saying that a hypothesis and a theory are the same thing and data and information are the yeah. same thing. You're, you got one word for, uh, you got two words for one thing. You got to just get, you got to just, yeah. And then, oh, 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 fuck. Whoa. It's multiplying. No, but, but really, if it's listening to stuff, how does it know what stuff to take? And uh -huh. let's do more of this. Okay, we're not going to use any of this, but... It, <laughs> and... You're not, yeah, you have to be careful I, with I those. I am a farmer. I know. Look. Are you doing the Michael Winslow thing where you do the noises <laughs> for me? Here, yeah. You're doing the noises for me. Yeah. I'm just politely uh, having a drink with my police friends. <laughs> At that end. <laughs> so 
So if the AI watched that, would they think we need more sound effects? Maybe. Uh, Do you understand what I'm asking? Because I'm I'm really curious. If the AI likes sound effects. How does the AI know what stuff we should do more of? Because the AI has uh, not only researched and listened to every podcast ever, it specifically wants to um, essentially curate and drive our podcast. Doozy. And so it says, hey, Will, Doozy. you do a bit like this. I've heard you do that impersonation. Do that impersonation doing this and blah, blah, blah. It's basically like having a fucking uh, comedy boss. Not down? I just stop asking so many questions. Listen, you and I know that podcasting is just fucking hanging out, right? right. It's usually two guys like us, right? A couple of bros hanging out. Doing their thing, right? Talking shit. Right. It's and and uh that's all a podcast. What's going needs on? What have you be. been up to? Oh, dude, I've been I've been doing good. Yeah? Yeah. You been, you, what are you, are you working on something? Yeah, man. I'm working on some shit. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. What about you? Are you Say, working on some yeah, stuff? Yeah, I'm just working on some stuff. I got a couple of things in the How's fire. How's it been going lately? Yeah, yeah. And that's basically- That's a yeah, podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Dudesy is like, nope, boring. We want, you know, we want more bang for your buck. Do this, do that. And I was lured out of uh, my podcasting hibernation. Now, why were you in a podcasting hibernation? Were, were you- um, were you uh, were you over it? Yep. Were you were you burnt out because of all the producing that you were doing, and now you're attracted to? I have somebody else doing all the work for me. That's part of it, dude. Uh, yeah, See? I kind of whipped together all that, all those uh, those old podcasts. Yeah, a lot of work. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of stuff having to do that, and um, so this was part of it to be like, you know, now an AI is handling it. Let's let the chips fall where they may. My good pal Chad is yes, super yes, into yes. the idea. We're gonna have to add Chad culture. And um, or at Bachelor Clues, and uh, or at Dudesy Pod Show. Um, uh, Which one? Huh? Which one? The Dudesy Pod Show. Fuck Chad. Uh, he's sort of more into the idea, and it, it like I said, this group with this AI approached us. He's saying this group is it anonymous? It's not anonymous. It's not the guys known as anonymous, but it's a group. Are you? Able I would to say talk they're an them? anonymous group. Pardon me. Could you tell us who they are? Yeah, they're a group. That uh, have the dudes AI, the proprietary dudes AI. Yeah, but what are their who the what, who are they? Uh, it's uh, bleep, bleep. gotcha. How did you? And how did they? I speak French, but they know you from what? What made them want to approach you? Uh, the internet. They're like Will Sass was fucking great. Essentially, He's they they sicked the AI on the internet and said we want we've created this AI that is going to figure out how to do podcasts. The right way, make them very listenable, watchable, rah, rah, rah. Find us two hosts that not only have podcast experience. Chad has a podcast about The Bachelor called Game of Roses. Um, and uh, uh, from that, him and his partner on that podcast, Lizzie Pace, they've written a book called uh, How to Win the Bachelor. And Chad breaks it down. Very, a very data-driven guy, Chad. And he's figured out how to win The Bachelor. Um, and uh, The AI and found you. The AI found us and said, here are two guys who not only have podcast experience, but they're good friends in real life. That's what a podcast should be about. But here's what they should be doing. Will. Will? Yeah, Will's fine. Will, you've seen the movie Eagle Eye, right? No. Do you know the movie Eagle Eye? No, but it sounds like other movies. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> Eagle Eye is a Spielberg produced vehicle with Shia LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. And I don't, spoiler kind of maybe. But um, Shia is a is a twin. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, in the movie, oh. and his twin brother (spoiler alert) was killed. Okay, okay? but there were, the military was doing some stuff with artificial intelligence with the Shia. Anyway, the twin. The artificial intelligence through manipulation of so many things, including stoplights, radio stuff, blah 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 ends up manipulating to get Shia into this thing. We don't know that it's the AI yet, and all these things are happening. It was all AI summoning this person to do this thing that the brother no longer could to help what it thinks is helping the, the, the country, but by bringing it to war because the data thinks that that's what's best for the country. Because, yes. So just be careful. It's a dangerous game. Yes. No, listen, I was a little hesitant to, because I've seen Terminator 2. Have you seen Terminator 2? As well? I've seen the first, I've seen the only Terminator as well as you. Yes, the, the, the one. <laughs> you did as well. 
I've, se- I've seen the, the one and only Terminator movie as well as you have. Yeah. Yes. Have you seen Terminator as well? Terminator as well, <laughs> where he finds love. Um, it's like Skynet in that. You don't want to end up being that guy at the end of it going. <laughs> and then having like yeah, we'll put, thing we'll put up a video of it. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 uh, it's a little weird, especially the pot of the uh, passwords and stuff. But I figure everything's in the. Now, how does it have your passwords? We gave them our passwords to all of our everything. Why? Email. What made you feel? I don't even let people use my Wi-Fi mm-hmm. because uh, essentially, look, you're either all in or all out. I don't huh? give a fuck. My buddy Chad is all in on the whole. You know, all in and what? The future and all that bullshit. What dude. are you talking about? <laughs> Future, what do you mean man? you're either all in on the future or you're not? You fucking everybody has everyone's shit. Like you're like, oh no, uh, you know the no, NSA. They don't. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they fucking do. the uh, The internet has everything, but on not it. everything's on the internet. Yeah, everything is on the fucking internet. Everything is on the. And who are these internet. guys that have it? I told you. Bleep, bleep, Make bleep sure that's that bleeped out. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So no, they have passwords. They have our passwords to all of our communications, all of our text messages. Between and you're Chad not worried that it's going to grow and learn to decide to send emails out to people to book them on your podcast on your behalf and what that might turn into? Well, we only have two chairs. It's really just us over and over. But you don't think AI knows how my Alexa knows to say, do you want us to order more card savers for your trading cards? Which, by yes. the way, I have a line of collectible trading cards from previous guests. Oh, cool. <laughs> If you were a superhero, who would you want to be? If I were a superhero? Yeah. Man. Like, what would my superpower be? No, or no, no. Like, if you were inspired of, of anyone, any of the universe. Yeah, I'm not I'm not much of a superhero guy. I don't really give a fuck about well, those. Well, we'll make you the movies. thing. Yeah, the thing's fine. Okay. And Iris, have I got a surprise for you. A Rick and Goblin Take Your Shoes Off Marvel inspired from the 1991 trading card series comic book characters with me as Wolverine and of course the Goblin as Hulk. Oh my goodness, thank you. Just what I, something I always dreamed I would have. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Tell, tell them where to get it at tysocards.com. You can get one wait, of wait these. Wait until you look to them. Okay. You can get this card. And wait, you, wait, wait. You can get this card, and I advise you to do so at Tyson's card. Tyso. 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 You can say T Y S O. T Y S O. Thank you. No, no. Tyso cards. Tyso cards. Okay. Spell it. All of it. T Y S O. C A R D S. Is it dot com? Yeah. Dot com. Bye-bye. <laughs> Fucking neck is fucked up. I fucked my back up. How old are you? 37. Today. I'm 46. Are you serious? Yeah. Happy birthday. What a shitty birthday. No, it's not my birthday today. I'm saying today. <laughs> today, I'm 37. <laughs> yeah. It's a little birthday bit I do. Is there a, something I could do for you for your back? No, no, no. It's fine. I tweaked it like a couple of weeks ago. It was fine, and now it's been bugging me again. I have a Theragun that I could. I do. have a Theragun too. Aren't those fucking great? Yeah, I could do it for you oh for a God. second. No, no, no. I don't want to do. I don't want to snap to me laying down in your couch getting a Theragun. All right. Well, I'm sorry if this has been too exhausting. We're done already. No. I am a little exhausted, to be honest. <laughs> I know. We, we we came in a little hot, and that's on me. Yeah, it's fine. You know, I get excited when. That's what podcasting is all about. Coming in hot. Oh. <sighs> Do you, do you ever get your dick sucked on the pod? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, whatever. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, I came. I laugh every time I come. I'm going to come. I hear your back crack. <laughs> wow. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. But uh, let's get into it now. Yeah, let's get into it now. Uh, is there is it? I don't like podcasts where the where it's like the one camera and you have to do this. Like if you were here, you know how a lot of podcasts they have like it's yeah. just one wide camera, right? Because my neck, so I could appreciate being at a weird angle. Is there anything that could help you? I mean, like a switching chairs or something that could help your. I know what that's like I and how distracting that is. If you were is. sitting way over there, could you sit way over there in the kitchen? Well, what if you? <laughs> That would help me if you sat way the fuck over there. <laughs> I just don't have a mic. Don't do over. it. He went over there and he came back, right? <laughs> um, I saved you. I no. saved you. You didn't have to burn the calories. On the, but sincerely, is there bit. something that there's got to be an angle no, that could be easier for you? No, this is perfectly fine. Look. Oh, fuck, man. That sucks. What happened? I put my eyes over. What happened? What happened to my you back? You could, you could cheat the eye line. It's fine. Yeah, what happened to you? That hurt yourself. That's an industry term, cheating the eye line. Uh, I was drilling some shit into the wall and I was doing it at a weird angle because I had to get in under one thing and was beside it. And then I'd never really tweaked my back like this. It Very seems like weird. it's your neck. I'm getting old. Yeah. 62 years old. Happy birthday. Thank you. Today's not my birthday. But I don't know if I'll see you then. I celebrate birthdays as a concept. I uh, remember... I, I have very Jewish joints. I have had surgery on my elbow, on my shoulder. Really? I've had triple hernia surgery and boring my arms tired. But what I've realized is as you get older, things hurt more, but they're also harder to heal. And I remember I once, uh, I don't know, I was above 30, but I, uh, I sneezed. I was going out to a, a general meeting, which is another industry term when you meet you know people in the military. And I sneezed and I sneezed and I pulled my back out and at the time, I had Percocets because I was taking them sometimes because of my shoulder thing. And I had to take a Percocet before a meeting from sneezing. And then Percocets are amazing. I'm not promoting them, but they, it's just, I don't know if people know, but they just put you in a great mood. And I... Uh, are I, they a sponsor? <laughs> and I was just in a really good mood for the meeting. And I was crying, talking about my buddy Brent, how nice he was when I got out of this breakup. And I, my eyes were watering. And I was fine with the watery eyes, but when she said, you want me to get you a tissue, there was something about like us accepting this moment. And then I just broke down. Really? Yeah. No. Just saying how great of a friend he was. That's nice. What was the meeting for? Uh, oh, you know? Oh, that's it. It's in the lower back. Oh. Do you ever stretch your hamstrings? Like, cause that's I stretch everything. I do. I do. I stretch. I fucking stretch. I get on the bed. I do the put the leg over there. The rest of the yeah. shit over here. Yeah, at night. That's why I say I'm on the bed. Normally, you do it on the floor. I have those. You know, you can put a lacrosse ball. Yeah, oh, you have, I'm yeah. doing physical therapy. Oh, you too. literally have the, exactly what I'm talking about. You take the ball. You put it in a joint or whatever. Yeah. You lay on it. I do stuff. it for my shoulder, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very hip to this. I'll tell you something. I have lower back pain. Humor me, even though you do it. Humor me. Stand up for 20 seconds. No, I'm going to not do this, but let's cut back as if we're doing it. Insufficient entertainment. What the fuck is going on now? I like that line. Guys, it's all about confidence when you're having sex. Am I right? That is good. Sometimes stress, anxiety, a bad day can affect your performance. Listen, you know what? All these points are true, but I feel like I could just hammer it down really easily oh, here hammer it down <laughs> <laughs> no no when ricky was growing up even though he didn't have a lot of friends his nickname was hammer Cock. okay that well the, okay the first part's true <laughs> i like a lot of things boners are one of them sometimes you're soft as fuck because blue chew is an online prescription service there are no visits to the doctor's office there's no awkward conversations there's no lines in the pharmacy they just send you to your house in a very discreet package what could be better? Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. And here's a special penis for... Oh, penis. <laughs> here's a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free while using our code TISO at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code TISO for your first month free. Let's snap with our dicks. 
Yeah. This episode is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Dad, I have a question. How are you feeling right now? I feel so invigorated and so fresh. And you know why, Ricky? Because I had a great sleep. Oh, that's right. You were on the, on the Helix mattress. That you got for me, and it's the best present you ever got me. Picking on a mattress could be tough. Which one do I pick? How do I know it's best for my body? You go online, you take the two-minute sleep quiz. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. They're <laughs> great for cooling down if you sleep hot. Mattresses are great for spinal alignment, too. So if you're looking for a mattress, you go online, you take the quiz, you order the mattress you're matched to, and it's shipped straight to your door. Did you know? Actually, did you know... Rick, that Helix was awarded the best mattress of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine? Yeah, I did. That's why I got it for you. The mattress is off the fucking charts. It really is. That's helixsleep.com slash Tyso. And Ricky, did you know that you can try out this Helix, Helix mattress for up to 20 days? I did. But actually, Dad, it's 100 days. 100 days. And it's risk-free. They'll come and pick it up from you if you don't like it. How can you lose? Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows by visiting helixsleep.com slash Tyso. That's up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash Tyso. This podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. I love therapy. Sometimes you need a little help. That's why you go to betterhelp.com. What BetterHelp does, the service that BetterHelp offers is so nice. They match you with a licensed therapist in another 48 hours. You get to do it from the comfort of your home. I actually used to, uh, before the pandemic, when I was going to therapy, there was some digital options. I didn't want to do it. Sure. I do it now. I, I do it online. And not, not just like I'll do it if that's all that's available. I don't want to schlep an hour each way. Life can be overwhelming. Many people are burned out, and even without knowing it, symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. <laughs> you, you sold it as if people were buying the fatigue. <laughs> Here's another thing. They offer online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you could be matched with a licensed therapist in under 48 hours. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tyso listeners get 10% off the first month at BetterHelp.com slash Tyso. That's, That's come on. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Tyso. Snap with your dick. Do, do you ever do yoga? I did it, I didn't connect to it, I didn't give it an honest try, and I've been meaning to... It's really something. Yeah, I, I just started physical therapy again two months ago, and I've, I'm like yeah. doing more and more in therapy. Uh, yeah. Yoga is something I might do. Yeah, and this is the kind of thing that happens on a podcast, turns into two guys talking about yoga. Right. So I will say that originally early on with Dudesy, I was like, I don't know, those first two episodes, I don't know, I think I can figure out how to do a podcast better than the thing. Right. But like I said, these last three episodes, by the time this airs, these last three episodes. Now, have you actually filmed those so far? Are you saying by the time this comes out, you're being? You said by the time this comes out, we'll have five episodes out. So I'm, br I'm, but I'm are those actually recorded yet? Have not recorded. You just those. know that they're going to be better. Just for the sake of this conversation, I'm right. saying you're those like next three are going to be holy shit. Right. You got to check this shit out. Now, if they're not, do you want to do a take now that we could edit that part out and say those three weren't that good, but the next one's coming up will be? No, I'd prefer to gamble on myself and come back if they're not good. I'll let you know. You're making a joke, but there's something to that. Do you have that mentality in your life about gambling on yourself? Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, most of the time. You got to gamble on yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't want to play unless you want to play the ponies. You like to play the ponies? My my dad does. I've never played the ponies no. once. <laughs> Captain Mauser, yowza, yowza. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's such a bizarre pull. And you know it. I don't know it. I don't know anything. <laughs> no, you know it. I just know how to Captain follow Melody. Mauser. Yowza, yowza. Come on, oh, you know what's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. You know exactly what I'm doing. Watch. Here's how I'll prove it. Okay. Captain Wowza. Mauser, yowza. What is that from? Because John Michael's going to need to Google it and put up a picture. Um, uh, 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 it's from uh, that 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 pot that movie I don't want to name. Oh, Babe, I'm like those other guys. Yeah, Babe, Pig in the City. Yeah. So now that you're back in the podcast game, is there something about you like reaching out to people? Let me do your podcast. No. You know, getting it out there at all? No, we don't do. We, oh, oh no, no. You mean like like we're doing like that here. you're doing here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. 
Like How's I it? told you, you know, when you had hit me up like a while back, like, hey, come do the podcast. I'm like, I don't want to do any podcast at all. Yeah. And then uh, now, but I did say that when the podcast is up, I will come out and hang out. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think anything of it outside of there's something that I don't think that I know, which seems like you were just burnt out of podcasts and yeah. or not liking them anymore. Um, but yeah, I didn't ask again. And I think I followed up with you maybe a year later. People request you all the time. Really? That's sweet. All the time. That's um, nice. And uh, yeah, and then I haven't talked to you in a while about it, other than just random stuff every now and then on social, but not about podcasts. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm doing this thing. And it was like, oh, welcome back. Yeah. But now you're going to be doing circuit and stuff. And how does it feel doing podcasts? It's fine. It's just fine. Yeah. It's really just talking. It's really just talking. I th This is great because I don't have to have anything to talk about. I sit here. You're our kind host. And you will say, hey, Will fucking stand up sit down snap look in this fucking camera there's a goblin shitting in your mouth or whatever the fuck well if you're gonna do it yeah oh. but you got to do the michael winslow noises <laughs> that's the only one i could do <laughs> that's good that's a door closing right that's a creaky door <laughs> The, the goblin shit closed the door so no one could see it yeah, yeah yeah uh he was on america's got talent recently the goblin michael winslow Oh, no, that's not true. Yes, it is. He was? Yeah. What's he doing on America's Got Talent? We know he has talent. I think it was Michael Winslow. Is there another? Dudesy, Alexa, Siri. Do you do that? Could you, do you talk to it? Yeah, um, yeah we're trying to figure out how much Michael it Winslow, listens. America's Got Talent. Sometimes it, sometimes it responds, sometimes it doesn't. It responds if it has to. It responds if it thinks we needs, we needs, it responds if it thinks is, we needs to hears. Yes. I don't need to play it, but yeah, he was on it. Michael Winslow was on it. Uh, and he did uh, like three minutes of impressions every week. Every week he was on the show. Uh, yeah, he, he made it for a bit. He made it through the live shows uh, for a bit. Because it's a competition show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I guess I don't want to talk about that. But there was, you don't have there to was talk a, about it. It's your podcast. Yeah, there was a feeling that I felt that I don't want to talk about. You don't have to talk about that either. I'll you don't have it. to. We'll bleep it out, though. You don't have to, uh, and you don't have to. You, you know. Uh, Let me interject you. It's all right. Bleep everything we just said out, so people don't know what we said. I don't want anyone knowing that shit, man. That's between you and me, bro. Thank you. We took it that out. <laughs> just um, like I like it. So I like podcasts because I don't. Uh, Are you drinking a white Russian? Um, what is that? Are you a, like it's a, it's fucking trying to be the dude or something? No, it's it's, a, it's just an iced latte. Oh, okay. but the uh, all, the oat milk, yeah, the oat water um, makes it uh, look like a white Russian. Mm. But no, but that is fun. That is fun. If I if I if I wanted to play a little game with you, I could have said, yeah, I did out of respect, dude. Z the dude. Z the dude, right? Oh Z. yeah, I didn't even put that together. See, the dude, 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 dude. Uh, would have been on top of that. What I like about podcasting <laughs> it is is uh, it's an excuse to have friends. I mean that. You don't need an excuse, though, right? Well, if, if I don't have the podcast, what am I going to do? Go get a coffee? Yeah. I have it here. Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have it here. Oh, my man. knee, too. <laughs> that sucks, man. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's a lot of... I have so much amazing, healthy supplements I want to give you, but you're not going to take them. Boswellia, good for inflammation. I got it. Uh, how about that turmeric? Yeah, as long as you put some black pepper in it, right, bud? Oh, fuck. No, I'm not going to sit like that. What if, I, what if I move this? You want to put your legs up on this? Nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I really fucked up my shit. No, that's I, I, being in. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, I really fucked my back up for real. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, oh, podcast, man. two guys talking, <laughs> Doozy, AI, Chad Colchin. There are people about to break in here. Do you hear that? I did. It's I live close to people and uh, I'm reminded how much they could hear me when yeah. I hear them yeah. and it makes me feel a little. What made, what made you decide to start podcasting? Why did you want to have a podcast? That's what, that's what I'm interested in. Oh, it's a good question. So I was podcasting for years before this came out. 
Uh, before podcasting came before, out, just into a hole in the wall. This Take Your Shoes Off podcast started three years ago uh, in, in April, so around now. Okay. Um, th- a few years before that, I was podcasting. I bought the equipment. I was doing stuff with different people all the time. I never put any of them out. I did. Uh, I actually ended up coming up with this podcast I did with my buddy John DeWalt called The First Episode that yep. we did for a bit, which the premise was since we were in ninth grade, before podcasts even existed. Wait, you went to school with, with John DeWalt? No. It's a okay. it's a fictitious premise. Oh, okay. But the premise was as if we sold it as John and I since ninth grade we were doing on cassettes. We were just in the room. We were doing podcasts since ninth grade. Right. But but we never released any of them because we never liked any of the themes. Right. But now here we are with literally over a thousand first episodes of random podcasts. Uh-huh. So we're just going to release them now. Right. And it's right, called right. the first. And we did it like some of you know we took place in nineteen ninety nine and two thousand six and we were talking about the time period and. John's parents were going through the divorce and it was fun. It was just very, very premise heavy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But before that, I just did so many podcasts and the looking back, the real reason I always said it, it became too personal and I don't know if I want to put this out and is this funny, but the real barrier to entry for me was I didn't know how to get it onto iTunes and I just didn't want to learn. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if that was a conscious thing. I just know it was an obstacle and I just never went past it. Huh. So I'm doing this thing with John, which wasn't sustainable. It was just so much writing before the podcast. I didn't want to do that. Sure. I thought, I just want to have friends come over. I have so many funny friends and let's just record them in the living room. Not even a podcast. I just want to record them and we'll just chop it down to a funny five, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I thought I was going to be editing a lot of stuff to make these little episodes. And then shout out to George Krikus, who was helping me out at the beginning. He's like, this is what podcasts are. Just keep the full thing. That's what a podcast is. Yeah. That's podcasting. Yeah. Yeah. I just was uncomfortable for a while. And this is a microcosm for where I was in life of lulls. Just yeah. like, this isn't that interesting. This is that funny. Well, do you listen to podcasts? I didn't. I do. You do now? I do some. I watch mine. Yeah. You got to watch yours. And what I realized was, especially when I was editing it all myself, mm-hmm. how exhausting I am. <laughs> and like, I know it still is somewhat, but I'm hoping we fix it in post and we're finding a pocket. And I was excited to see you. That's a lot of work. Um, which part? And uh, yeah, and then I started to realize, oh, things, you don't have to be funny. Nope. These you know, aren't specials. My favorite, no, that's right. My favorite parts of podcasts are when people are, they sort of, you know, they sort of feel themselves and know themselves enough in the uh, podcast space, if I may, yeah, uh, to where they just sort of blank out for a while. I, that's when I'm listening the most. Any of the podcasts I listen to, whenever anyone in a podcast goes, and then like a long pause and they go, you know, the thing is, then right. I'm listening. But don't be afraid of those big empty spaces. I'm not anymore. Yeah. But what I do do uh-uh. is I'm always live editing. And yeah. there's a lot of fun in that. And there's a lot of wins that come with that. Yeah. And I find and stuff I'm very, very proud of. But it's a it's a it's a that while being present, while also making my guest feel comfortable and less chilled. Yeah. It's just a dance that that is what I'm still always trying to find. Like when we were talking about the chicken and the egg thing, and I really do have a take on that. Yeah. That was me being like, Rick, just let him talk. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah. No, it's interesting. I, I listen to a bunch of podcasts uh, and, oh Jesus. And, uh, and it, yeah, it is, it is interesting because the, the, the term podcasting also has, uh, it comes from a term, broadcasting right you remember that you remember from uh, latin yeah pat sajak was a big broadcaster Pat O'Brien, o'brien um all the uh and uh you know some people are just talking over each other the whole time and i'm like wait a minute pat boone wouldn't do any of that mm-hmm. right the original pat the original pat pat boone okay. texaco comedy hour yep <laughs> That was the door closing. That I found it. That was a great door. Found it. Door. Yeah. This is a nice, this is a mellow pause moment. So the chicken was hatched out of an egg. We could at least concede that, right? The mm-hmm. chicken did come from an egg. And it's a compelling argument. Well, I'm just. Or hypothesis or theory. What I'm waiting for is the data. So I can turn it into information. Okay. So the data is chickens come from eggs. That's proven. Yes. We know that. Okay. Okay. Now, the only question then becomes, well, what laid the egg? Right. 
if not a chicken. And yes. the argument would be whatever the species was that evolved into a chicken just before there was, let's call the pre-chicken a, 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 a chicko, right? It was yeah. close to a chicken, but it wasn't a chicken. Right. The chicko laid an egg and there was some form of mutation that then turned this thing, this mutated chicko. It wasn't a chicken back then. This was a weird chicko. What is this chicko? Right. It had like it's a some, fleshy pat, a platypus bill. Yeah, what maybe the, yeah. it could fly. Yeah, it has now it has talons when it used to have fingernails. Right, right, right. What is yeah. this weird chico? We now know it as yeah. a chicken. Kind of it could have even been a defensive thing, like the chico was being hunted by um cavemen, because they were around at the time of the dinosaurs, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh the 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 chico was like the cavemen were like stealing all these you know, killing the chicos, hunting the chicos. And then the chico's like, No, 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 don't hunt me and like farts out an egg. I was like, scramble this, put some ketchup on it. But wait a minute. What if we let it hatch and see what, what it looks like? Oh, my God. It's another Chico. Kill it. But it's weird. Something's different about this Chico. Yeah, it's Bill isn't as fleshy and pillowy. Like Let's call it a chicken. Let's call it a chicken. And these cavemen probably weren't even homo sapiens yet, but they still came from a womb. Right. They can still figure out a breakfast burrito or something to use the Chico for. Yeah. And that's when that's when agriculture and farming started to come in where we saw these sustainable things where if we keep killing the chickens, we're not going to get the eggs. Mm -hmm. So let's have eggs. Well, let's have eggs. Yeah. That's where the saying comes from. <laughs> that's the first. Uh, isn't that the first line of the Bible? Mm -hmm. Let's have eggs. I think after the light. After. Yeah. At the beginning, let's have eggs. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's where breakfast comes from. Do you see? Think this is a heady fucking podcast. Yeah. That was the door opening. The gross. Yeah. What Are else? you a happy comedian these days? Yeah, I don't know. Am I a comedian? Are you not? I'm a happy I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I'm a guy. You're you're a you're a you're what people would say, and I would agree to, one of the funniest guys in the biz. Oh, that's very sweet of you. But you're, you're not this and that. You're not uh are you not chasing it? Are you not wanting it? Are you still doing it in your own way? Or I'm talking based on the you I'm assuming that you getting out of the podcasting thing was you just taking a break from things is that fair to assume yeah i just i i literally did we did the uh, 10 minute podcast for like six and a half years or something and then uh yeah i was just kind of i just didn't want to do it anymore am i a happy am I, uh, yeah i'm happy to be in the business i'm happy to still be doing what i do i could i know how to frame that question better and i know where it came from when i messaged you uh, whenever it was two years the first time uh you didn't say I don't do podcasts anymore. You said I'm done with comedy or I don't oh, like yeah. comedy anymore. Yeah, or I just like, like to say that I don't like comedy. What, what truth was there in that? There's got to have been something. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. I, I think that most people that do comedy fucking hate it, have a heavy disdain for comedy. And uh, the, 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 the info that comes from that data, what I'm talking about is laughter. Hate it. Hate it. Hate laughter. Laughter is information. I hate laughter as information. Wait, I hate but laughter I need it, as a currency. But I want to be, I, because I do have a hard time knowing because I'll always be playing and I am very interested in this. Are you, you I'm assuming you're joking. You don't well, hate laughter. No, I, I guess I don't hate laughter. No, I like, I like laughing. I like to laugh. I love laughing. What is the hating of comedy? Uh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't hate, I don't hate, I don't hate comedy. I don't hate comedy. I think the comedy is, uh, Comedy is pretty useful. You need it. It's like music, right? You need that shit. I don't necessarily want to make comedy uh, all the time. Yeah. You know, or at all. I think it's, I think it's uh, important to just kind of make it when you want to make comedy and <laughs> when you don't. See, I'm laughing. I connect to that, make it when you want to make it. Yeah, just do, you know. And when you have deadlines, enough. you have to do it. It's exhausting. Sure, of course. We all have to work, you know. You have to do comedy. Right. Is is a dudesy going to remain a funny podcast because you're a funny person, or could it turn into something that is a uh, another genre that you? Some of the things that we do on dudesy are just merely conversations. I I, I kind of uh, uh, it, it is a comedy podcast. It's it's the that's part of the AI. It's the it's it literally writes jokes. It'll be like here do like as an example in the first episode. It's like you do a Hulk Hogan impersonation. No, I will not. And, um, uh, but news segments are popular in podcasting world and just kind of takes things, puts them together. You got, 
here's Hulk Hogan reading the news, but then it shits out a bunch of news stories and you're doing it as a, it's literally just throwing things together. And also it is learning. Um, it's learning from, it, it basically says that it's going to make every episode better based on the last episode. So the first episode out of the gate, it was very rudimentary, mm -hmm. sort of like do this and you do it. And that was actually fun for me. I liked doing it and I was laughing while I was doing it because I was like, what the fuck is this script that it's, it's given us talking about the Oscars or whatever sort of a political issue. Um, and it's from this AI, uh, which is, which is fun to me. It's a breath of fresh air because yeah, I don't, sometimes I think it's hard to lean on what you think is funny and go, Hey, everybody out there, subscribe to it, subscribe to this version of comedy. It's so subjective. And yeah, you find your listeners, you find the people that are into what you're doing, but, uh, I really enjoy just throwing it to this thing and going, I'm not responsible for any laughs that may yeah. happen. You know what I mean? I don't want to go into podcasting. I don't want to walk into that room going, okay, here we go. Here's some funny things that I've planned. Right. If it's funny, it's funny. Yeah. In, in, in the future, it could just be, yeah, it could, it could develop into a cooking podcast. I have no idea what's going to happen. So the AI is basically your producer. Yep. It's just a producer uh, telling you what to do and you're, yeah. but it's, it's, it's doing it in its own it's in its own way you know it's right. making it its own have you ever been on a set where you do something and like you do it the way it's scripted and you they have a little extra time so the director says something like you know do it your way yeah and then you kind of make it your own yeah what do they do what do they call that third or fourth take fifth sixth take this is going to sound cocky yeah first take for you uh brrr, but it it's second take second take yeah so the people that you're working with are kind of like, Ugh, I don't even know what I shit out here with this script. Rick, fix it. No, 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 no. We do it. And 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 they have it. Yeah. Because we did it once. So you just need one take to get what they want. Sometimes they, they fuck up. With, like if they need something different with the choreography, with the cameras or something. They but it's fuck for, up. Yeah. yeah I, I get what yeah. you're saying. Picking up or they, they, did, they didn't figure it out yet. They haven't right. figured it out yet. You know, but as far as the performances, yeah, I give them what they need. And then they say, make it your own. And then I always just, I kind of do my own thing, you know, because I, I know my voice. Yep. It's important for a performer to know whose voice is theirs. Mm -hmm. Well, you were saying it with podcasting. Like, what's your favorite movie? Of all time, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Okay. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles monologue. So I would have done it the way that, you know, that uh, John Candy did it, let's say. Um, and then uh, I would make it my own. So here's an example. So before it would look like this. Honey, I'd, li I'd like you to meet Del Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. Oh, and here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. And then it would go like this. Hey, Bill, how's your dick? What came first? So, yeah. No, I think I understand what you're saying. So it's kind of like that. It is exactly like that. Do you ever think about there's something that I want to talk about? The AI isn't guiding me, so I can't do it. Uh, yes, yes. And that's become sort of a thing, uh, like I said, in the first two episodes. But oh, boy, these last three, mm -hmm. me and the me and the dudes, the AI are simpatico. Yes, I kind of also went into it going, hey, Chad, doesn't matter. The dudes, going to do the AI is going to tell us what to do. It's going to guide us. But what if you did? What if you're like, I got something on my I'll mind. I'll say whatever dude. the fuck I want. And what if, will dudes ever be like, that's not what we were agreed upon? Not necessarily, but I am finding that uh, at the end of the episode, it, there are things that are missing from, as dudesy says, it's data set that it needs. So uh, I made, you know, I should maybe play ball more. Um, it is, I, I am starting to really uh, become excited by it because I'm being a bit of a an asshole about it because I'm kind of like, I don't want to do like a whole, like the podcast thing. And there's so many of them and shit. And I don't know if I want to do it again. And here's this thing that's sort of taken me out of it. Uh, and, and, um, you know, providing pretty much the, the framework, the blueprint, all I got to do is come in, show up, do what I think is funny, talk about what I think is interesting. And yet I've been like kind of going in there, uh, going, ah, Chad, we don't need to necessarily listen to exactly what dudes, the AI is saying. Let's just do our own thing. What's one of the data points that you were missing when you did your own thing? Oh, well, there was an episode where uh, we were ta uh, we were tasked with uh, coming up with an original song. And uh, Chad loves to fuck around on Pro Tools and stuff like that. Me, not so much. And then I forgot about it. 
And then two days before we recorded, Chad's like, you got that song ready? And I was like, no. So I just didn't do it. It was like a missed homework assignment. And there were repercussions. There, there were some repercussions. Do you think that. it's a coincidence that not too long after that, your back started hurting from work? <laughs> that's that's that, see, that's terrifying. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. He's not wrong. William. Are you not a musical boy? No, I, I love music and I do some music here and there, um, but I just didn't do it. Can we do some music on this podcast? No. Strike two. I do music on this podcast a lot. I love. Do you music. want to play your guitar? I'm more of a piano player. I don't oh, play yeah, guitar yeah, much anymore, I know. but You're it's not set up. You play, yeah, you p play the piano. But I could put on an instrumental something, and I, I love to come up with music. The great thing about Take Your Shoes Off Pod is, and now there would have been something musical there, right? Yeah. There's like a goblin farting on the keys like uh, like Tom Hanks and Robert Loggia did in, in Big. Magic. Yeah. yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Chopsticks. Mouse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that's actually part of what inspired our theme song because at the end we go, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's from Police Academy too, which is the best. Police I saw the Academy I movie. saw the only Police Academy that existed as well. <laughs> I yeah. really liked how I was aware that they didn't do a sequel, but I love that as well. No, as you. Police Academy as well, where Bobcat Goldthwait uh, and that's uh, the guy from Scrooge, Tim right? Kazarinski, the homeless guy part. from Scrooge. Is he in Scrooge? He's a homeless guy. No, yeah, he's, I am the homeless guy from Scrooge. No, no, no. It, it, uh, Bob Goldthwait in Scrooge is, doesn't he work at the station? Yeah, but then he gets fired and he becomes homeless. Oh, I forgot. It's when been, was the last time you watched Scrooge? I don't know. It's been like three or four Christmases ago, which is no excuse. I should know COVID. the fucking thing, but I I used to watch it all the time on Christmas. Me too, dude. <laughs> I COVID really fucked us up, man. The world is a different place now. Oh, is it ever? No, it, it really is. I mean, you know, I, I don't like talking about politics too much on this. Not for any reason other than I'm not somebody who talks about it. I'm not worried about, oh, you're going to lose this or you're going to get that or you're going right. to have some of this or borrow this. Can I see this for a little bit? This isn't what I thought it was going to be. Can we have yep. some more or less? But Trump. Oh, dude, calm down. <laughs> well, you're about to get political. Whatever. Fuck it. We could go past it. Fuck it. What were you going to say? Have you seen? Here's my impression of Trump going into the tanning salon slash a barbershop. Okay. Give me. Oh, no. You know, he's his hair. What is going on with his hair? That's what nobody's talking no, no, about. People make jokes about how it's bad, but also get it fixed. You motherfucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, here's my impression yeah. of Trump. Here's my impression of Trump after he leaves the beauty salon. Okay. Yeah. I also can't do the voice. Remind me the voice. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, but say like, say, give me this. Say this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I says I can't do that. I'm gonna say that. Could you do? Well, I do a lot of impersonations. I know, so. uh, but I want this to be me. But we'll use your voice. So camera stays okay. on me. But just say what I'm gonna say is. Okay, but you'd say it. Okay. Okay. Ready? Nope. Got it. And All right. So here's my impression of Trump. <laughs> Also, I love when people do impressions. They set the impression up, but yeah. because it's so specific, they think people may have forgot what the impression is, so they kind of reset it, but with less words. Have you noticed that? No. And then they keep doing it. It'll be like this. So here's my impression of Donald Trump, yeah. who has horrible hair, by the way, Yeah. but he's decided, oh, this is good. Oh, I like it. The setup is yeah. fucking, yeah. But yeah. then yeah. they have to redo it. Yeah. So let me do it. Yeah. Here's my impression of Trump. Okay, who has horrible hair. He goes into a beauty salon, yeah. and he sees it, and instead of being like, I don't like this, he... This is my impression of what he does, okay? So here it is. Trump, bad hair, beauty salon. Say this. Trump, beauty salon. Anyway, anyway, okay. You wait until I say it. Oh, you gotta, fuck. Yeah. Well, you're not going to say it. I'm going to say I'm it. Gonna, wait until I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look. I'm going to notice, oh, and then I'm going to respond, some, okay? Yeah, yeah. So here it is. My impression. Trump, beauty salon. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Also, he's got to turn around so you can see. Yeah. Right, because the mirror is here. Yeah. Also, animate me having the smallest dick. Yeah. And I'm fucking my wife or my kids. All right. Yeah. I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah. 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 To He's my, touching his, yeah touching I'm being his. mean to fucking foreign guys. Yeah. All right. Making yeah. it hard for people even in England to get a visa. And yeah. Okay. What do you mean even in England? What did you mean by that? Because English people, they're fine because. Because why? Because, because why, Rick? Because they're white people. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. That's what, that's what he thinks. <laughs> that's what, right. Really? That's what's up. You know, he didn't close the border to England first. No, no, he didn't. He closed Plenty it to of like Muslims. Somalia. Plenty of the, Muslims yeah. in England. Because let's say an average guy. No way. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
Little dick. Trump. Hair. Muslims. Little hands. England, little dick. White. No, no, wait, I have to notice it. Oh, wait fuck. for me to open my mouth. I thought you noticed it over there. No, I, this is the, the whole mirror. reason you should be sitting in the fucking kitchen. Here's the mirror. Let me adjust my assy back. Hold on. Yep. Ah, it's this leg, too. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, can I just do it like this for a while? That's fine. I have to shit. I, I like wiggle my ass back and forth, and that helps it. Do you want to take a walk or something? No, that hurts when I take a walk. Let me interject you. You know, I walk my little doggy all the time, and I haven't been able to lately because of my fucking back. I'm sorry. I'll go 15 minutes down the block, and I have to turn around. Trump notices, sees his hair. Wait until I open my mouth and then do it. Okay. So here it is. Donald Trump, bad hair, Muslims, white people. Which is easy to do because when he's not, when he's not talking, he goes. Right. Like Alec Baldwin. And there then we I'll go. Open. That's a perfect Baldwin-esque uh, Trump. Which one? What you just did. Thanks. There it is. So anyway, I'm fu oh, so no, I, you're not supposed right, to talk. Right, right, I'm right, supposed right, right. to talk. You just notice, then you open your mouth, so and then I'll the say, the, and I'll provide the cut. dialogue. This is fun. This is like me being the dude's AI. I get to decide what to say. We are not the same. Yay! It's like having a podcast. So here it is. Donald Trump. Uh, 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 yeah, I mean, the guy is so fucking dim-witted. Yeah. And also, I'm not here preaching Biden as the savior of Jesus no, Christ. No, hell no. All right, because also Benghazi. Let's talk, let's talk, let's say some words. Benghazi. Okay. The Oval Office. Oval Office. <laughs> okay. Right? Fucking, uh, pardon, the, pardon the chicken a, and the egg. Pardon attrition. The chicken. Because, so, so woke used to mean. Yeah. Being aware of, of, of all of it. You yeah. know, being awake to what's really happening instead yeah. of just, you know, recognizing white privilege. But what liberal, these motherfucking snowflakes <laughs> also, and I'm, listen, I'm as liberal as, you know. Yeah, no, 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 you say that, please preface this by saying. Yeah, hey, I'm, no, yeah. listen, I'm as liberal as Ho Shongs. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, keep going. But they're, they're walking in here like, no, you can't, Lat you have to say Latinx. I have so many Latin friends. Out of all my friends, if you boil it down, I have more Latin friends than I have P Caucasian friends. None of them want to be called Latinx. They all want to be called Latin. Yeah. I really don't want you to go home now, but listen, if you're hurting, we can make this a short episode. That's fine. You're going to cut it down to 15 minutes in the end, but we got to make sure that we yeah, fill it out. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of filling it out, really, you are, Thank you, you are a strong boy. Oh yeah. Oat milk. Yeah. Um, but also, and I, we were making jokes a little bit, but I do want to talk about this a bit because what's going on right now with like you not being able to say, you know, you can't say black, you can't say gay, you can't you say Jew. You well, and you could say as long as you say, oh, I'm as liberal as I'm harsh. But if you don't like preface with that stuff, and that's why I have, you have to say you can't say before you say yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Because it's letting people know. It's like, let's say I said, you want, do you want one of these wings? And you'd be like, no, I don't want wings. Okay. No. So you I want any wings? No. Oh, I don't even like wings, but these are unbelievable. <laughs> okay. And now you're like, I love a wing. Yeah. If he, he, if you think I don't want a wing, right. he doesn't even like wings. Right. So are you saying that Trump would say instead of wings, he would say black, black people? people? Right. Do you want this black person? Would you like this black person? And here's the thing. No, I don't even. No, but this one's this one's an amazing. Where's my black guy? Remember when he said, where is my African American? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a good Trump. Um, can I hear your best Trump? And then can I hear your second best Trump? The best Trump would be, the second best Trump is, All right. But the best is when you, Because your lips are closed. You have uh, an Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I know you're going to be like, I don't want to do this because Trump. Right. But you're an Arnold Schwarzenegger that is that is different than Arnold Schwarzenegger's. And you know why? Why? Because it sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's not the type of voice that Arnold Schwarzenegger has. And I don't know what it is, but why does your Schwarzenegger really sound like Schwarzenegger? Uh, do you, I'm being honest. Does that make Do you know what I'm saying? Because people do. I'm Arnold. Yeah. You know, like they do with things like, oh, that's Arnold. Yeah. You're, you really sound like you could be him. Sure. Sometimes you do an impersonation. You go, I sound kind of like that guy. 
Other times you're like, I don't really sound like him. Let me do other things. But he's such a heavily impersonated guy yeah. that to stand out, you need something special like AI. Uh, right, right. But there's a thing that when you do Arnold, uh, you did some deep fakes before I knew what deep fakes were. Oh, yeah. On Snapchat, you could just like put the face. But I thought it was really, I remember at first, I was like, wait, that's when I first discovered oh, really? what a deep fake is. Cause, oh, wow. Because it looked kind of like Arnold. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But it, it, it was his like, voice. So I'm like, what's going on? I thought it was something that manipulated the video, maybe, not, you know? Oh, interesting. Yeah. I don't know, you know? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, but your impressions are uh, are a magical thing. But <laughs> do you feel that you can't do them all the time because, like, the same way singers can't just always sing? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I used to do impersonations on Mad TV mm -hmm. as a sketch show. And uh, there was a, there sure was a, a need for impersonations when you're doing a sketch show because you want to do sketches. Right. Um, but then you get into your, your own life and your personal life. You're like, I don't really have a need for these impersonations. Do you judge yourself for if you do do it? Like, is there something like wrong with me? Whatever the negative thing may be. I didn't think that one. But yeah. Do you feel like, like I don't hurt my back? Like, uh, like uh, here, here's a global version of that. Somebody meets you and knows you're a comedian. And they say, tell me a joke. You're like, no, I don't want to tell you. Like, what are you talking about? Right. But also, I think it's so cool when you could say something like, I, I'm a sucker for singers. I love singers. I've been able to have amazing singers on the podcast. And I want to I want, sing me something. And when they do, it's like, I know how hard that was to do. It's such a weird thing to do. But you did it. And I loved it. And it's a delicate balance. What I'm saying is I want to hear you do some impressions. Okay. Tee it up. Uh, here's the thing I want you to remember before we start getting into these impersonations. A good tool if you're at home and you want to do impersonations is that you have to say the name of the person. That way, even if the impersonation isn't great, you've got the name of the person out there and people go, oh, and it's a bit of a trick. So it's like it tricks your brain to go like, that sounds exactly like the person. So you say the person's name in the person's voice. Yes. And is it usually like a slate? Hello, my name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, it's part of the bit. Okay. So you don't even have to do all that, th that old like trope of this is Donald Trump da -da -da -da. going into a thing. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay. Let me hear your thing. best Trump. Small hand. I told you my best Trump is <laughs> that's Trump. I'm telling you right now, that's Trump boiled down to the, that's, like the the fucking that's the the reduction of just, really we're fucking boiling it. Do you want to? You could scrape that shit off the pan. I'll tell you that. That's right like now. Concentrated. concentrated. Let me hear it again. You just take a little bit of that, put it in a dish, put it in your fridge, take it out later, mix it with some water. What happens when you mix it with water? It turns into the whole Trump. Let me hear. If you're lucky, it'll sound like this. All right. It sounds sounds like a fat bee flying around. Fat B. Wait, um, uh, sounds like a fat B around. And we'll cut to me looking market because then we'll cut to the room cam and his camera. We're going to do a fat B Trump. Fat B yeah, flying yeah. around. Yeah. And then fat you could you could also talk as him if you want to talk about B stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 one of flowers. Wait, wait. So I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no we're, problem. We're not there yet. yet. So we're cut. So fat B, it's on me. Do the noise and actually make it. Like you just did. It's buzzing and have the buzz. If you're up for this, the, 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 the Trump buzzing thing goes it buzzing and it morphs into more, you know, like what it turns into. And now you're doing uh, a B Trump. Got it. Make sense. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever you're ready. Ready. All right. Not bad, right? <laughs> yeah, that's comedy there you go we made a little comedy there that never existed before none of that has ever existed before that's the power of a podcast i don't want to have anything to do with it dudes the ai take me away you know you know what i'm saying how'd you get stickers made so fast oh they sent them to us How, do you ever know, not know if you're talking to ai or the or or please, when, please. Uh, we don't have a, a bleep, or a bleep. Um, well, who approached you? Somebody that, that built the AI? Yeah, these this group. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, yeah. They first reached out. They're hard to get a hold of, but we do get, um, yeah, we get regular uh communication a lot. How do you know if it's from them or from the AI? We don't. We don't. You really don't. No. That's uh, why. That's what makes it a good AI. Uh, who's paying you for this? 
the AI. It's all, uh, it's all dudesy dollars. No, we're going to do, it's like a podcast. So it's like, we're, we're going to seek out sponsorship. Who's seeking them out? Is AI doing it all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is AI getting you ads? The AI will get us ads, yeah. So artificial intelligence will be reaching out to Manscaped on your I would behalf? Imagine, no, I would imagine that they have to. There, Well, there's a there's got to be some sort of go-between, but it, it's sort of part of the reason that the podcast the go-between. is... go-between. Well, a middleman, like an ad rep. Why didn't right? you just say that? Because I'm trying to... Your audience is savvy enough to know what a fucking ad rep is for podcasts. This is how you get Manscaped and we have a really, dick I, pills. We have a really smart thing. audience. Okay, well, when you when an ad rep reaches out to Manscaped and shit like that, and yeah. um, uh, they'll say, here's the fucking CPM. Does your audience know what a CPM is? Yeah, cost per milli. There you go. Um, Which is Italian for thousand. Cost per milli. Uh, uh, yeah, so we've got, uh, you know, Doozy is making, Doozy is communicating with other people that are set up in business the same way that it communicates with us. The AI has access to basically has learned how to do podcasting and this group is like we're setting it loose to not only uh be able to as i say curate and produce the best podcast possible Mm. with the with the ingredients with the data with the information uh it also is doing all of the behind the scenes stuff and just proving that a that an ai can do that my buddy chad who's very into the futuristic things (laughs) uh at dudesy at dudesy pod show uh at chad culture put at Chad Culchin we, above we do at it, Dudesy. We do it all Culchin. right. And sometimes we do it where it will be Chad. And then sometimes we, to- we do it. <laughs> but a lot of people there. And <laughs> that's a good face. Uh, so when you say, you know, Chad, and then you say doozy, what would happen is the Chad comes in and the doozy bumps it out. Boing, boing. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, know yeah. we know what we're doing here. Yeah, the, the Y on doozy goes crooked and then it falls apart. Mm-hmm. Um, in a lower third, that, does your audience know what a lower third is? They do. Pretty easy to put it together if you don't know what a lower third is. Yeah, but it would really, be the lower third. Really lower thirds in podcast culture, and this is going to sound ridiculous, but visualize it before you tell me I'm wrong, is a lower fifth. You're not wrong. You're right. Um... My pal Chad, who's super into the futuristic thing, he he, you know, he would argue uh, alongside the the fucking dudesy rah 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 that all podcasts are going to be like this in ten years. There's going to be less use for a lot of um, human interaction uh, when it comes to creating a podcast, producing a podcast, reaching out to other partners like sponsors and shit like that. And eventually, I guess we'll all just be on UBI sitting around with our bad back because we tried to fucking screw something into a wall going <laughs> something wrong with this bottle oh, i was just picturing this we're going to put in in post just explosive diarrhea <laughs> coming out of the bottle and into my mouth and splattering all over my face yeah please how many um people have you had sex with Shit, I don't know, like one and a half, two. I one and a half. Is a half meaning it wasn't sex, or are you saying it was a little person? It was a little person. It was a tiny little person. Question: You have sex with one person that is of um, typical height, yeah. and then one person that is. Uh, I I never know what to say. I think it's a dwarf. Yeah, you can say dwarf. Okay, uh, and one dwarf. Right. That's one and a half. Right. Which is a little saying it's a half a person is a little derogatory, but. You know, you're a different generation. But this is the way that this is the way that they prefer to. Uh, this is the right. new woke. This is the way that they prefer to be. Now, let's say you had sex with two typical sized people. Yeah. One of which you put inside of him or her. You fucked until uh, completion. The other person. Well, would, I've never done that. Hypothetically. Okay. The other person, you put it inside for like you know five seconds. You're like, oh, we shouldn't do this. Technically, you had sex, but wasn't. Well, one and a half, because that one doesn't really count. Right. How would you distinguish if somebody said I had sex with one and a half people to know that that it was two typical sized people, but the second one was only for a moment versus two completions, but one of them was a dwarf? You would say that the that the, say the it second Trump. person that <laughs> is a lower third. <laughs> I only believe it's a lower third. Which is a lower third. <laughs> 
You know, interesting. I wonder it, it would be uh, if there was two uh, little people that had a podcast and it would be and it could be called Lower Third and they, they could frame it to where uh, the top two thirds is space for graphics and for, you know, go to, you know, uh, betterhelp.com slash Tyson for 15% off your, you know, you know, your, your favorite t-shirt or whatever. Yeah. Now we're doing it. This is one of those nice, easy pauses. <laughs> you got to let the audience recalibrate. I'm sure dudesy is listening right now. Maybe. <laughs> is there any fear that you have doing this project? Uh, any fear that I have doing this project? No, not, I wouldn't say fear. No. Okay. Nah. Is there, an, is that because no, or is there another word? Mm, another word for fear? Well, not fear. Like information more like, is like the same word as data. Is there anything where you're like, I'm getting into something that people have my passwords. I don't know what's going on. It's a technology that's growing. Yeah. We've seen the only Terminator that ever existed as well as I have seen it. And you knew what happened with that with Skynet. I don't know what this thing was, though, because there was only one Terminator and that wasn't in that. Right. But um, maybe that was you watching Terminator holding the remote. Like, yeah, that was me holding the remote. He's like, he's like, I'll be back. And then it's right. like, oh, is he coming back? <laughs> yeah that you know he's he's going to the thing you know and then it like goes like this and then Wait, trrr, on, it's not the duma it's not the duma it's not the duma we'll fix the lag we'll fix it later can you say that lag anymore no you can't say that anymore you know i do an impression of arnold now i forgot on uh on my stand-up act on my routine yeah because um, I'm having some hormonal issues. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I have a, a, a lot of um, a high uh, levels of uh, uh, prolactin. And I don't know what that is. Prolactin is, uh, is something that the pituitary uh, gland secretes. Okay. It's just a hormone. It's a hormone. It's a chemical hormone in your body. Estrogen, prolactin, cortisol, all these things. You know, your body responds in certain ways. And, and I got really... My OCD got very, very bad when the pandemic started. Very bad. And uh, on a chemical level, my cortisol was all over the place. And I don't know what was going on. I was getting panic attacks. And there's some psychological stuff, obviously. But blah, blah, blah. My chemical, something's going on with me. And I haven't still, I still haven't felt like myself since before it. I'm a lot better. But I was trying to figure this stuff out. And I've been seeing a lot of doctors. They're not like, not fucking them. Just like going to them. And I'm seeing this endocrinologist and I'm getting like levels and my, all my levels are fucking, my testosterone is so high that, uh, it stop it, it just shows this plus, you know, like when a scale, if it's too, whatever. And my endocrinologist hypothesized that I might have a tumor on my pituitary gland. And for months I was too scared to leave the house to get an MRI. So, but like, I have to figure this out and it turns out it's not a tumor or as Arnold would say. I certainly have I'm only seen I haven't seen You haven't seen Kindergarten Cop? No, no, no. I saw the first one. Yeah. With not the one with Dolph Lundgren. No, Terminator. Well, there's a moment where he's uh, he's something's going on and one yep. Mr. Kimball, are you all right? Maybe it's a tumor. And he goes, "It's not the tumor." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a sec. Edit my audio out, put in tons of fart sound effects when he's doing that. Please animate shit going all over the place and then we cut to me and it's all over my face fuck man it's fucking it's fucking back <sighs> so what else <laughs> <laughs> you know you know when things are going really well yeah and you know when things are going really bad yeah. But when something isn't going bad, but it isn't going really well, yeah. it's like I'm bowling and my first not, I, in my first two frames, I didn't get a mark. And it's like, what are we even fucking doing? What are we fucking doing here? That's the question. That's been the question since the pandemic. What are we doing here? <laughs> um, and uh, the answer is we're, you know, we're, we're uh, what, what, what were we doing during the pandemic? Fucking, I know. Watching, trying to hang on to that news cycle. I'll tell you that. And uh, what was the fourth thing again? Sourdough bread. Sourdough. Yeah, sourdough bread. <laughs> uh, you know, I once almost bowled a perfect game. 
Really? Uh, I uh, was bowling. Yeah. And you know me. I'm just doing my thing. I know you. And, Where do you bowl? Uh, wherever. But this was back when I was still in Cleveland. Yeah. And uh, I'm bowling with some friends. My brother's there. And I'm five frames in, all strikes. And then on the sixth frame, people start like coming over and uh, strike, strike. And uh, first nine, perfect. Uh, yeah. Going to the 10th, three strikes away from a perfect game. And strike, 10 strikes in a row. And then uh, an eight. And then I picked up the spare. Okay. 288. Yeah. But so close to a perfect game. Yeah, 288 is just under 300. Mm -hmm. Is that what you have to do in bowling, 300? 300 is perfect. If you, oh, okay. 300 is if uh, you get 12 strikes in a row. Oh my gosh. Um, and by in a row, it's in one game. So it's not like if the, you know, from the fifth frame onto the next game, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But um, I used to be a good bowler, but I would have this uh, pessimistic attitude that when I would start a game and if I didn't get a strike on the first frame, you can't, you can't start over. That's cheating. You right. can't just be like, well, that doesn't count. You have to finish the game. But I'm just like, fuck this. That wasn't my full attitude, but there was this thing in me where it's like, well, then if you didn't start perfect, then what the fuck are we doing? You can, you, you'll get perfect. Not necessarily. I've never bowled a perfect game. And I think that's the metaphor. Not yet. Am I chasing a perfect game? Aren't we all? Or do we love the sport so much that we just want to play and we think if I could only get to this level. Right. I'll be happy. I'll be satisfied. Right. But it's, it's, it's I think that's the case. That's the chicken or the egg argument. The egg, uh, the egg came first. The egg, yeah. What else is going on? <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? You, uh, how did you do through the pandemic? You stayed inside a lot? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I was did you play piano? I did. I noticed that you did your podcast. You made people go out on your balcony. Yeah. That's cool. It was a novelty to a lot of people. Uh, like, oh, that's funny that he's doing that, but why is he doing it for so long? Stop having him on the balcony. People are like, you fucking liberal cuck fucking people in California in the entertainment industry. They're like, it's not real. And it's like, fucking just let me have him on the balcony. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. You should have been like, it's a bit. Well, I mean, made bits the out whole, of it. The whole pandemic's a bit. Uh -huh. Then they would have been like, oh my God, this guy's a fucking badass. He thinks that the pandemic's a fucking bit. He goes and lets people cough in his mouth. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I just cough right the uh, uh, people uh, are almost their own AI because p uh, comments aren't real people. They can't be because they're well, fucking. They're, they, they have intelligence. They just they don't need the A, the artificial part. I would say that they don't have intelligence and it's it's superficial. They have data. Superficial, superficial intelli intelligence. intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> That's how about, actually a, how fun. about a fun two hander for you and me? Um, you have Maybe? A, yeah. Superficial intelligence. What be network are we going to with that? Uh, YouTube superficial intelligence this this fall on YouTube. That is kind of fun where you just you build stuff based off of the comments like all of you let the public produce your podcast. You should do 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 you do 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 Um, but people people will tell you what it's sometimes it's sometimes it's it's uh as like tell, talking to me about my lighting and like I'm like. Dude, people you don't like want people like to fucking make comments online, do they not? I mean, I just let them fucking go. Let them talk. Everyone has to have an opinion. But and what I'm saying is what if we use it? Then you're gonna have a clusterfuck. But there's nothing in that glass. The the thing about oh, there is a little something in that glass. Nim, nim, nim. I'm doing your Michael Winslow. Thank you. Delicious. What is this? Oh, don't you oh no. Oh gross. That came right out of my ass. That's from the ass, the ass, the little ass joke we had. Uh, like yeah, you. everyone likes to have their own opinion, and that's fine. That's you know what they totally say about fine. opinions? They make an ass out of you and me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but but uh, let them have it. Let them have their ass. Let them have their whole ass opinion. And uh, let people fucking talk. But I'm alone in a room with Chad just doing the dudesy podcast. But what I'm saying is, I hear you. I'm not. It's not an. I'm not like. Why are they fucking talking about my lighting? Yeah, what I'm yeah. saying is, in a similar way to what you do, I think there would be something interesting if you could get your AI to also consider the comments and do a seg. But but not to consider it to make it the best podcast, but to produce a segment called Superficial Intelligence. Could okay. You, could you pitch this to the AI and let him or her, probably her, if it's really intelligent? Because I have to say, women are smarter than men. You got to say it. 
Yeah. You have to say, like mm -hmm. you just said, and you're kind of selling the game there, Rick. So I don't know if you're being sincere. I am. But you just said, you I have to say. Yeah. It's because like somebody, because, because it must be spoken. That preface. Because it must be the spoken. It has, yeah, to, yeah, it has yeah. to be. I was well, you have to say it or else you're not speaking it at all. And to what you're saying, I would respond by saying, you've already pitched it to Dudesy because yeah. Dudesy is listening to every podcast. But how is Dudesy going to see that data that I just said and turn it into valuable information? I think probably, I don't know, but I think probably because you use the word data a lot. Right. And uh, you said information, you know, and then if, you said dudesy. If the AI has a son, do you think the son will refer to his father as data? Yes. The D, two Ds? Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's up? There's a, a quickness I have that a lot of people will comment on with their superficial intelligence where they think I'm like one of the quickest guys. Yeah. And Not that, the people who write in about the lighting. Those people are assholes. Well, unless they're, you know, unless the lighting's bad. I, you know, when I see, when I see, when I see people comment stuff and it's, it has like four or five of the same thing, I'll, I'll at least go like this. All right, let me look at this. It's, uh, that's data. That's polling. That's real polling. Mm -hmm. if, he, if five people say something online. You might be a redneck. You might be a redneck. That's the speed I'm talking about. But that's the speed you do. That's fucking. That's a hell of a thing to be able to access. Name a number. Three. Heard of it. Name yeah. another one. Four. Seven. Name another one. Eight. Fifteen. Shit. Name another one. I I guess uh, you know sixteen, right? Uh, it's thirty-one. Yep. I was summing them all up and adding them just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got you. Covered. And uh, this is a good spot for one of those pauses. One of those long podcast pauses. I just got the data joke. <laughs> what do you usually talk about on your podcast? This is the stuff. This is the stuff? Yeah. Okay. The way I feel favorite right now. Favorite guests? Favorite guests? Yeah. I could tell you favorite episodes more. Oh, okay. Well, I love having my family on. Yeah. I love having my family on. Yeah, I noticed that you had you have your, your dad on a lot. My dad on a lot. Um, My cousin, which is confusing because cousin sounds like it's my age, but he's my dad's age. Because oh, okay. it's my yeah, mom's yeah. cousin's husband. Gotcha. Um, first base. But he and my dad, uh, dad and Teddy, they come on a lot and they get very, very stoned. Awesome. And it's just a, I have a, I have a, I always thought families were funny because I grew up with a funny family. And then I met people and people are boring and they suck. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 And then I, I, and I love, I'm, I always appreciate it, but like, I really like having my family over. I'm, I'm, tr I know I'm going to be laughing so much. Yeah. And it's also cool that I got to make content out of it. Yeah. You know, and it, my dad, my dad loves reading comments. Really? Loves them. That sounds like a dad, a dad thing or a mom thing. Like, also podcast people that are here to watch me yeah. like me. Otherwise I wouldn't be watching. So generally the po the YouTube comments, comments are, are very right. nice. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just so nice about my dad. Aw, that's um, nice. Uh, I had a Howie Mandel on recently. Yeah. Uh, yeah who also that. is a little like me with, you know, yeah, he doesn't like to shake hands yeah. and stuff. And my parent, my family's not that way. So we're uh -oh. over here and I'm, you know, more so because it's my house and it's my podcast and I'm controlling and moving the mics and stuff. And he was very cool until something happened with my mom in a tissue. And then he realized, and I'm like, this is what I'm saying. And how he says, such a funny line. He said, you don't have OCD. You have family. Like, it's not you, Rick. It's them. Right, right, right. But like being able to have this experience with Howie Mandel, who when I first moved here, I did background work all the time. And I was paid extra in paid uh, audience member in Deal or No Deal. And when someone won the million and I was in the front and you could see me on TV. And for the longest time until my they had to switch their cable box, my dad would just watch like there's Ricky on TV, you know, on Deal or No Deal. And now we're Ricky? podcasting. What's that? Yeah. My family calls, calls me Ricky. Ricky. Nice. And to be able to bring in like people like that with my family. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Should we have Howie Mandel's head coming out of my butt? Going, oh, it's filthy in there. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can have his voice do it. Call him. Ugh. Hey, Howie. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm doing a podcast with Will Sasso. Do you know Will? Uh -huh. He's going to turn around and take a shit, and the fart is going to be your voice saying stuff like whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, will you do that? Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. All right, thanks, man. What's that? Wait, wait, wait. How's your daughter? 
right. I'll, I'll see you at home. Okay, peace. All right. Bye. Peace. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. That so was being cool. able to an opportunity to, like, to do that kind of stuff. Who's your favorite guest on my podcast? Oh, well, your dad. Haven't seen it yet, but I would say your dad. Let's get him on the horn. Okay. Will you do an impression for my dad? Yeah. Promise? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see if he can guess that I'm doing Trump. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey, Dad, um, I'm, I'm on a podcast with a guest, and uh, uh, I don't even want to tell you who it is, but I want you to say hello. You'll know who it is. Hey, hello. how's it going? Are you there, Dad? Could you hear us? Yes, yes. Say hi. Yeah, hey. You don't have to know who it is right away, Dad, but you'll figure it out in a second. It sounds like Eric. No, well, you, you've never met this person. Oh, I have okay. a tall brother. Oh, so I have, it's I have a tall brother. It's Harlan. No, no, that that you've never you've never met this person. You never knew that he was doing my podcast. You just okay. know. I, I'll give you a hint. Things were based off of something with this guy, but you know who he is. Everybody loves me. <laughs> uh, it's based. I don't know. You've seen his show that's based off the comedy of this guy. I have parents that come oh, over. They're very annoying. That, that would that that would only be Raymond. I'm Ray Romano. Yeah, I got Ray Romano on the podcast. Eric Griffin <laughs> did a movie with him, and he directed, and he got him on. Say hi to Ray. Hello, Ray. Yeah, so? <laughs> yeah. We're doing a group podcast. Look, l listen to who else I got on here, Dad. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> and I'm Ray Romano. I'm Ray Romano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother's tall. Actually, we have his brother on here, too. Yes, he's tall. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, Trump, let him talk. Let him talk, Trump. Uh, hey, Mom. Uh, hey, Mom, ask if Mom wants to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger. We got him. Yeah. Arnold, say hi to my mom. Uh, <laughs> Trump, let Arnold talk. Arnold, will you do, will you do me a favor, Arnold? I'm um, Ray Romano. Arnold, I have to do voice. I do voiceover for my dad's rug commercial. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for just the right flooring, you need choices. And at Marshall Carpet One, you'll find thousands of choices, including carpet, hardwood, rugs, and luxury vinyl. So make the right choice and visit Marshall Carpet One and Rug Gallery. And we promise, with more than 50 years as a family-owned business, we've got you covered! Yeah. And I actually have to do new voiceover. Uh, it's, it's this. Will you, Arnold, will you do this? And, and I want to see if we can yeah, really yeah, use yeah, this. Yeah, 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 Our, yeah. Dad, Arnold is going to do it. You ready for this? Yeah, we'll put yeah, in the yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. This is for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is for everyone looking for flooring. <laughs> uh, uh, Arnold, 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 we might really use this. Will you, will you do the whole thing, Arnold? I'm going to turn this into a commercial. Yeah. All right. And this is Ray Romano. Ray, please, this is Arnold. I really want to get a clean take. <laughs> Trump, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I know this is funny. I'm begging you, Arnold. Will you give us? Uh, <laughs> Come on, uh, you taller Brad, guy. Brad, Brad Garrett. Garrett, right. Arnold, will you, everyone just quiet, please. Yeah, I really yeah, want to yeah, have yeah. this. I'm going to use this. Yeah, cut two shots of this straw. Yeah, <laughs> dissolve to logo. Add the web address. No, Arnold, Arnold, please. And rest assured. <laughs> no, no. We got you covered. <laughs> Arnold, yeah. Arnold, if you could just read. Yeah. Please, I'm begging you, yeah. Arnold, read these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Client, Marshall Carpet, date March 7th, <laughs> no, no. 2022. Arnold, you do movies, you did the one Terminator movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just from here. This is Trump. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting hot in the <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I, I, I thought Arnold would do this. Is that the carpet? I will so, enjoy I enjoyed it very much. Hey, hey thanks a lot. Ask if it's Louie. Yeah, I enjoyed very much. Who's Louie? Louis, Louis who? Louis. You know, that, that comic Louis that has a show. 
Louis uh, you know, C.K.? Sometimes, Mom, I don't know if she's talking about Louis C.K., He's been, he's been, he's been, uh, you know, cultured out. No, we have him. Louis, say hi to my family. <laughs> Trump, please. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> All right, dad. Well, I love you. Thank you. And uh, Thank you. shout I out to Marsha Raw Gallery. Thank you very right. much. Bye-bye. Watch Everybody Loves Raymond. They do all the time. Oh, good. Um, I want to, uh, 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 great stuff. Thanks, man. We're really doing it. <laughs> Um, why wouldn't you do it as Arnold the what whole the way through? What the fuck are you talking about? I did it. I even did the Trump for you. I did Brad Garrett, Ray Romano, Trump, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I didn't even have to set it up with the, here's four guys walking into a hair salon. Hey, what would happen <laughs> if the stars of Everybody Loves Raymond and Donald Trump and Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> from the Terminator movie and nothing else walked into a hair salon? I think. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Small dick, small hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Same right. thing. Hair, tan. Right, right. Comedy based on. My hair. Small dick. Small hair. I uh, did a SNL reel when, you know, you first move out here and a manager says, we're going to submit you to SNL. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a guy who could do voices, but I have the reel. We could, sh we'll, we'll cut to it. We should watch I, that entire I, thing. How long is it? Well, I don't know. Probably five minutes. Mm. I'll show you some play clips. play it twice? You want to make it 10 minutes? Or I could, three I guess, times, three times. Yeah, but I'll have to put it in 1.66 fast forward. No, 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 no. Play it three times. Well, I have an impression of Brad Garrett. Let's hear it. I think I was, I think it went something like Raymond <laughs> or something, you know, but I was really That's like good. trying to do it. Because yeah. Yeah. You know, God I, damn. Yeah, man. People uh, audition for Santa Live. That seems really rough. What the fuck are they even looking for over there? What is anybody looking for? Speaking you know, of Trump, that, that new dude, you follow him on Instagram? No, uh, I've seen that yeah. he's, that people like his Trump. Oh, his Trump is incredible. Um, uh, if SNL shrimp wanted jazz, to, could you put shrimp we'll put, jazz? We'll put his Instagram handle here. Absolutely, fucking James Austin Johnson. If, fucking if, incredible. If Johnson SNL wanted exactly you, like him. if SNL wanted you to, uh, obviously, I, uh, obviously, but I would imagine you would like to host it if they wanted you to. But would you want to be a cast member? I would have loved to have been a cast now. member. Now, Live. Now, yeah, I'm an old guy. They can't do that. They got. That would have been like that one weird year in '85 uh, where they had some people who had already had some really young people. Like Robert Downey Jr., Anthony Michael Hall. Then they had like Randy Quaid. They had uh, Michael McKeon, who played Lenny of Lenny and Squiggy. Um, Mice and Men? No, different Lenny. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that would be. Oh, no, no, no. Michael McKeon came years later. He did it. I think he did it in the 90s for a year. Yeah, he did it in the 90s. The same year that uh, Mark McKinney from Kids in the Hall was on mm. it. No, they got to have young people. But would you, you want to do it? have a fucking big dude with a gray beard. Would you want to do it? Uh, would I want to be on Saturday Night Live? Now. Right now? Yeah. Uh, Coming in as a new cast member, yeah. having to, you know, not get in every week. Yeah. No, I think that might be a little weird uh, for me personally. Right. Yeah. I would feel Just like because I you've, would Because be, you've, already, you've already done the stuff. So if they don't want you no, at I this level. Uh, no, I, I just kind of feel like I would be like, well, I, right. you know, I don't know if I should be doing this. Yeah. Right now. When people could do impressions the way you can, and it's not just about impressions, but to take on characters. I've Do you know Amir K? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I know Amir. I, I, I don't know him as a sketch actor too well. Right. right. He did the new Matt. When Matt TV came TV, out yeah. with Adam Ray, did it too. But there's something Adam, about Adam Ray. That's right. But when a Amir does sketch, when he does characters on stage, stand up, they are funny. I'm not saying, but, but I'm saying funny or not, because sometimes they're, they're not. They're so real. Yeah. And he's so in the pocket of this character that I'm just like, but that's not the only level it is. You have to be able to write. You have to find the blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying you can or can't. I'm just saying him as a character actor. I'm so impressed by it. And you, you two, you get into something and you believe it so much. But it's like, what could you do with that outside of sketch? Um, uh, you could be a con, con man. You could be like the <laughs> twinder, uh, Tinder swindler. 
you could uh, you could basically just take advantage of people. A but lot, in, in the entertainment business, real question, because I'm not saying there is nothing. I'm saying what else? Because sketch is such a muscle sport thing that is kind of its own thing. Where does that, because even like it used to be when SNL, at least used to be from my knowledge of like 90s and the early 2000s, they would do movies based off of characters that they did on SNL. And then they got to do movies that of like different stuff. Right. Here's, here's what, here's a question for you. Why don't we have movies with characters like that anymore? Like it's just Pat or Stuart saves his family. Yeah. Or Night at the Roxbury or Clifford. But like, Clifford wasn't a Saturday Night Live movie. It's a great movie, though. Great movie, but it's a big character. Like yeah, original character. characters that are fucking characters. Yeah. You know? I mean, Chris Farley was bigger than any character because it was his energy, right? But you yeah. in Beverly Hills Ninja is an outrageous, hysterical character. We don't see that shit. Where it's based the, on what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. But where is that? Where, where are these characters now? Where are the big characters that... These are people that do these impressions and that's great, but it's only Trump making fun of politics on right. SNL. Yep. Why can't these characters, where are they? On DVD. There are no now. Oh, now. Now everything is, and I'm not somebody who hates remakes or thinks it's bullshit, but like. You didn't, yeah, you're not a fan of Terminator as well. And I love Terminator as well is what I was saying. Oh, okay. But I'm not going to make another one. A Terminator as well too? Yeah. It'd be a little weird. You're right. Right. Too much yeah. time has passed. Yeah. We're already in the years of the war. Yes, the years of the war. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying is I miss character comedy. Yeah. And you only see it on sketch shows now. C characters. I would like Ace to Ventura you doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. There yeah, are yeah, no yeah, yeah. big characters right. that are stars of comedy movies anymore. I guess not, but there's also not, uh, there's not really a whole lot of comedy movies that are mainstream anymore. That's why there's comedy in Thor. Yeah. That so was the first one. Think I about remember. it. Wrangle Rock, R R Ragnarok. F Fraggle Rock. Yeah. Fra I remember they uh, hired comedy they, writers for that. that. That one. What's that? That was the first Marvel movie that when they did a rewrite, they right. went and they hi specifically hired comedy writers. Sure. Because movies are now, they've got everything. There's a little bit of everything in, in Thor for you. And guy fucking has superpowers carries a really heavy hammer mm -hmm. i would say that's that's quite a character so in a way the Saturn, the early or not the early but the saturn Night live movies from the 90s we're not talking early early like blues brothers which, which by the is, way shout out to which, mcgruber on netflix now yep there's mcgruber on netflix now see there you go that's that, that's, that's that's the exception to the rule and it came back years later everything old is new again um, but, uh, but in, in my opinion, with regard to what you're saying, um, Thor is just a more, uh, evolved version of, uh, Julia Sweeney's character, Pat. But Thor is, is a story that's written that you, the creator of the character could only have so much range with. Right. And it's not a comedy. They're funny movies. Right. It's not a comedy. Yeah. 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 I just... When I'm wanting you to do this stuff, it's because it really fucking gets me. I really like it. Yeah. I really like character shit. And I just, uh, that's why I was saying, would you go on SNL? Like, what is there? What is there now? You have, I'm not to say that you don't have multiple skill sets. You're fantastic. But this thing that you do that's fucking at the top of the top should be uh, that, yeah, but the real version of it. Yeah. Uh. I don't know, man. I just, mi I miss, Me here's either. an old man missing broad character comedy. You're 37. Today. Imagine in, in a year <laughs> when I've been 38 for, you know, seven months. Right, 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 right. No, I'm picking that, up what you're laying down. That was like a, a, a casual uh, 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 Matthew McConaughey impression. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Instead of, when I say right, 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 then there's all right, all right, all right. Right. Yeah. But when you boil it down. Well, what else, dude? I don't know, man. You know, we filled the quota. <laughs> we sure did. I hope you come back again sometime. I would love to. Um, sorry, I thought dude, I had a sneeze. What's going on? I thought I had a sneeze. Oh. That's Will Sasso with the Dude Z podcast. Make sure you check out The Bachelor on ABC. And uh, do you have a website? Is it willsasso.com? Nope. Uh, just Will Sasso on the socials. If somebody has willsasso.com, the domain, if you're if you're a fan of Will, send it on over. Yeah. Uh, we also need willsasso.eth. Uh, What's that? 
It's uh, it's it's for the Ethereum blockchain. So if it's so you could connect your wallet to it. So instead of having this long alphanumeric, how are you going to remember it? Well, they smart. could just send it to Will Says. I have Rick Glassman. Are I you getting set it up into yet, crypto? I've been in since 2017. Holy shit! Yeah, boy, are my arms tired. Do you have a Bitcoin? Yeah. Great, great, good for you. It's good. Yeah, I have the only one. Oh, like Terminator. Theme music. Scoot do. We did it. All right, now that this is off, let me turn another it off. podcast. Let me turn this off real quick. Music off. Turning down opacity. Let me turn the cameras off. Yeah. Dude, camera sorry, shit. sorry about that. Fucking shit ass fuck fuck. Yeah, fuck, bitches. Fuck, fucking bitch fart tits <laughs> ass. Nuts. Dude. Fart. Hey. Uh, you know? Remember when we talked about how women are smarter than guys? Yeah, dude. That was hilarious. Yeah. The only thing women fart. are smart at are getting pounded in their pavement. Hey, the pa- you got to pound it, dude. Got to pound that. I do miss this being on the couch with a friend with the cameras off, mics off, yeah, and man. just dicks everything's, out. Everything's just off. Dicks are out. Here's Rick's fucking cock. Dude, oh, I, thought, I can't, oh, I can't do this on the podcast. No, you can't do that. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, open your mouth. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, God. You fixed my back. <laughs> yeah, man. You fixed my back. Oh, what am I doing with this? No, it is fun to finally fucking relax. Yeah, man. Dude, for real, though, I know you couldn't say on the pod. How many chicks have you fucked? <laughs> One and a half. Oh, really? At the same time. Oh. Yeah, my fiance and then... Uh, this little person. Yeah, little boy. Warwick Davis? Warwick Davis. I just fucked my thousandth, thousandth girl. <laughs> okay. How'd it go? For me or for her? It's either or. She came. Hey, oh. Hey. Why oh, you what I that? Is that still on? I was just seeing, making sure it was off. Oh, I don't you're want just making sure it was off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I say when she walks in. I go, hey, ho. Yeah. As in, hey, ho. Because that's how I call, what I call women. Oh, I thought, hey. I thought it's like, oh, like a fucking, like her name starts with an O and you have a rapport. The like only. someone would call Elvis E. Oh, I get that. And I like that a lot. Or the guy from Entourage. Right. They called him E. Yeah, so Eric. That's a call me. back. Um, the only O that we say is uh, this thing that I made up that when I make a girl come, she gives me her O face. She goes, oh, 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 oh. Dude, listen, if you just let this side of you out to the people who are complaining about your cuck ass lights and your cuck ass fuck them. beta balcony. I can't say that beta on a pod, though. Cuck, cuck balcony. Yeah, fuck them. Dude, they would be like, <laughs> I'm down now. I They're all the Glassman Bob. They're they would love to hear that, too. They'd be like, oh, he's really nailing me with the you know, he's hitting me with the dozens. I just feel like I can't, I just looser than I am on the podcast. You know, yeah. I don't have a mic in my face. I don't have to be like, oh, buy this mattress. What yeah. I want to do is put your fucking nipple in my dick hole yeah. until I bust a nut and I put my thumb up your fucking miserable <laughs> until you come yeah. out of your eyeballs, you fucking <laughs> bitch. Jeez. Fuck you. Yeah. How many girls have you been with? <laughs> come on, All right. tell me. All right. Over or under 500? There's two. It's not one and a half, it's two. Okay. I'll let you get out of here. I hold people hostage when I'm having a good time. <laughs> I do. I'm really having a good time with you. Don't we all? Uh, let me take a call. Oh, yeah!